eat my new tent. I was able to rip it out of shoe bottom's mouth. But I, you know, I can kind of say to myself, well, it's clearly ready to do something. It's already looking in this container. If I can just put something in there. I think you would think of that as a separate task, though. If you got in a bind with that, you would go back to this, I think. And I'm not sure you shouldn't. I'm not sure you shouldn't work that because if you said, where, "What's the hardest part of the train to retrieve?" To make that leap to picking it up off the ground, usually. Once you made that leap, you're there. All right, but if you said you're not bending him back in your direction, I know. And the platform might be a good thing for that. If he's over there, then I can bend him back to here. I think you need to be thinking of that right away, though. I'm understanding that if you're doing it as a deliver to hand, we've got to understand if we're going to add any distance we need to make sure we've got a dog that's coming back in our direction right away or that's going to be a problem if anything i could see where if anything else developed where it ever second guessed or it ever decided to you know that would be something you had to realize that you installed so i'm saying to myself get it bending back this way as quick as possible and then keep bending it that way. I think you, if you said, what's the best way really to install that bend is to have steps after the bend. The bend is the beginning of the sequence of the dog moving back in your direction. Not just as much as possible, make the bend part of something and it, it'll be there. I, that's all I do with these dogs is bend them. That's all I'm doing. You know, and I think that's what you have to think of. You're bending and changing the story. I mean, come on, how cute is this like that? Oh, this could be the little puppy kit. Oh, I'm going to start manufacturing these, George. I'm sending a bunch of the... I want you to be selling these now. We'll think of a name for it, but, you know, if you just said it as it's, you know... All right, and bending back, bending back. Um... I think as quick as possible, too, though, you would want them to know that there's, it's, we're not, it's, it's a deliver to hand, so it's not a retrieve where we're throwing one object. Oh, keep little mom. All right, bending, 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 bending. Uh, you're installing that. I want you to understand that just by making it occur, you're installing it. Bending, 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 and keep it bending. Anyway, guys, now I am actually, it's so fun, though. That's why I want all of you guys to start doing it. You know, Anthony, if you're still there, I don't know if you, you know, if you guys have any access to any little puppies that you can even just go to the pound and work with. Anthony, any, any little puppies. I'm t it's scaring me that you can get this young of puppies doing this. It's making me understand even more where it is all in how you raise them. It, it's not all in how you raise them. It's all in the behaviors that you install. You know, if these behaviors are this easy to install, you know, how easy is, you know, if we said, well, the complaint is jumping, well, all dogs jump. You know, bending, 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 bending. Then I say, well, they've just installed it in the wrong place. It's them, not the dog. It's awful. And you saw, Anthony, if you saw that girl, Connie, with Luke, and I love her to death. She's one of my great clients, and she loves me, and she always gives me big tips. It's not even a tipping business. But, you know, they, people do think love cures all and, you know, 
that if they can just somehow tell the dog, you know, if he can just get more love, he won't growl at her when she goes to trim his toenail. You know, and, and I, she said he never growled at me before. Oh, you never got that far out of line before that he had to do it. Let's see if I can bring him with the noise. You know, but I think you have to understand in puppies this age. Did he run away? Did you run away? Oh, no, he's under there. Let me see. though I don't know I, I that's my latest theory Anthony I you need to look into it for me but I feel like they if you said they've got such superior hearing that they actually hear your voice way more of a vibration than we just hear it as words and all that they they feel it as a vibration because they're vibration-sensitive predators, I would say, oh, I believe that. And I think, remember, I don't know if you remember, there was one time it was, Crash was acting funny, and it was real windy out, and I said, all right, bending, 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 bending. You know, that I think the wind affects her, and it did say in that article that they do pick up on wind vibrations I don't you know kind of like you know the storm is coming I guess or whatever maybe I don't know about where you live but down here oh all these dogs are scared of storms then they start shaking and quaking and then the people start hugging them and saying oh it's okay and then pretty soon there's a storm when they're not home and pretty soon this thing's eating through their drywall. I think he'll go get it. Just because it's there. No, he says I have to take a nap now. All right, guys, I'm working on that. But that's, I think you would say that with any puppy. If I could get it picking it up, then I, that would be the initial subtask. Then I would put it in a container. That would be the next subtask. Then with that, I could add distance and then then i would start bending the puppy that would be the next uh, chelsea are you writing all this down <laughs> this is chelsea <laughs> but you know that would be you know once you added distance with a puppy i think you would have to say to yourself i better start bending this thing i better start installing that bend okay so now i know you're right anthony because there are people, even on these crime shows that I watch, and I know, oh, he's already going to do it. Even like these really experienced cops, bending, bending, bending. You see the bend is almost already there. You know, they'll get these really hinky, awful, terrible killer types, and they'll say, this guy made the hair on my neck stand up. You know, they're, they're emanating that much negative vibrations that even these guys that have, you know... How oh, they've been on, you know, 40 homicide scenes, but this guy's making their hair stand up because he's just emanating so much evil. I, I don't even want it to be like that, but, you know, I understand that if, that if we kill off all our demons, our angels die. <laughs> Anthony's like, what? Oh, we're going to have to lock her up. Anyway, I want you to work on that, but I think it's... For them, not much of a stretch to, if you said you could take children and all, every kid wore a watch that vibrated and did all these different things and everybody did it, then that would be the norm, you know what I mean? The normal is what you make it, unfortunately, you know, normal isn't exploring the avenue of pager communication, vibrational, vibrational communication. I mean, in, it's honestly, I mean, if you think about it, if that's a good communication for them and all these things, and, you know, we have the ability, albeit somewhat crude, to craft a language out of that, albeit a very crude language. Now, maybe we should explore that. 
not use constant because I understand now, not that it's just internal and not that there isn't any movement with it, but there isn't any sound. If there was movement, would there be sound? If they could, I guess they would have to be. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I'm going in there right now. Oh, you always have your notebook now. Oh, she's writing everything down. God forbid something happened to me. You'd be able to put all these notes together. I give you permission, Chelsea, to write the book. If God forbid something happened. She's like, no. I gotta, I've got to. Uh... Okay, George. Uh, thank you for tuning in, George, and listening to my crazed ramblings. I want you to try this, though, George, if you've got any little puppies. I want all of you guys to try it and just see. It is if you said, well, you're doing something, I'm not doing anything other than presenting an opportunity and having a reaction. So I didn't know it was possible either until I bought these little flutes and started doing it. So, all right, guys, I will be back a little bit later with more of the Primrose Puppies. Bye, girl.